Thriving in three. Lips. You want to see me do lips? In three minutes? Yeah. You like the way I do lips, don't you? I don't know. I use a needle, but here you're showing us how to use a cannula. I so use both needles and cannulas, but I prefer cannulas, but I will use needles on occasion. Okay. So this is me using a cannula in the lips, and this is my staple technique. Your pilot needle is essentially immediately like at the corner of the mouth. At the corner of the mouth. And that's a 19 or 20 gauge pilot needle, okay. 22 gauge cannula. I will thread it through the muscle of the lip. Okay. okay? And I'll go half, half underneath half. the muscle or over the muscle. I'm actually in the muscle. You're in the muscle. I'm in the muscle. I don't. Sometimes I'll go superficial if I really want to define the lip border or the vermilion border. Okay. Most often I'm in the lip muscle. But you're still staying in the dry border. You're not in the wet border. I'm not in the wet border. Right. Okay. Or are you along like the the junction between wet and dry? Here. It's probably about there, but I'm deep. I'm a little bit deep in that. I'm in the actual. I'm in the muscle. You're in the muscle. You're using expression technology. I like Express Technology here, but I'll also I use all the products. It really okay. depends on the patient. Right, I so you want like an so age use... appropriate lip. Yes. So this forty, you know, five year old perimenopausal, you're not gonna go wild with like a thick lip product that's gonna cause too much projection. Exactly. Okay. I'll use a cohesive polymens poly densified matrix as well. Okay. If I'm trying to do very little uh, projection or rotation. Okay. So it really depends on what I'm doing. But my twenty two gauge cannula doesn't change, the product does change. Okay, and so you did like almost two or three strands from that one corner of the mouth to I the midline. I did 0.5 millimeters in there. So just 0.5 millimeters, 0.5 um, half cc's, of a syringe. half a syringe on each side usually, yeah. On each, on each, no, in, well, one syringe for all four quadrants Well, it depends. Uh, okay. okay. It depends. Okay. If someone wants bigger lips, I'll do one cc upper lip, one cc lower lip, but I will never go bigger than that. Most commonly, it's half a cc per upper lip, half a cc per lower lip. So a One quarter of the syringe. Yeah. Okay. So you're delivering a quarter of the syringe in the upper quadrant and the lower quadrant. So you don't, I mean, in a Caucasian woman like this, where the upper lip should be one third, two thirds to the lower lip, you don't deliver a little bit less than the upper It depends. Every patient's different. So okay. I make sure you want the upper lip to project about two millimeters out below the lower lip. Okay. So I will make sure that happens and occasionally I'll change it. Sometimes I won't treat a lip if it's already projected. Okay. So I mean, yeah, in her, you can see, I think you've delivered about half of a syringe, uh, a quarter of that in the upper lip, a quarter of that in the lower vermilion body. And then I come around to the other side and do the same thing. Okay. Now, one, one great thing about this technique okay. and that I like about it is that it's just one, it's two pokes completely and the whole lip is done. Yeah. So they can put lipstick on right away. They don't get that much swelling. They walk out the door. I rarely ever see a bruise. Do you have to block them? So I can block them or we can just do topical. So I'll do it either way. It depends on the patient. I prefer to block. Okay. But some patients do it with topical and they're happy. So your question is, does it hurt more? No, it doesn't because I think the cannula hurts a lot less. You do. I do. And do you feel like you get as much aversion that if you're doing, you know, if you're kind of going, delivering these vertical, linear, the retrograde, yes. So there's no doubt the fence post will give me more eversion. So if someone needs a lot of eversion, I'll do the needle fence posting with a different product. Okay. How about you? Um, I, I do a lot of linear retrograde strands in a vertical orientation, you know, whether we call it like the, you know, tenting or fence posts or how, whatever, whatever the new verbiage is. Uh, but I, I do like that technique kind of focusing more on delivering majority of my product in the medial aspect of the lip and then kind of using less as I go out laterally. Okay, and we have a video of that somewhere in the in the in the series. Yeah, so whether you feel more comfortable using a twenty two gauge cannula or a a needle, you'll be able to see both techniques. How long do you say this lasts? How long do you think it lasts? I think it's dependent on the product. So I think that there there's a Vicross gel that I use, fifteen mix per CC. Um, I use a lot in the lip. It doesn't give a lot of projection. It bring, brings a lot of hydration. I use that technique where I kind of do these vertical oriented strands. That can last about a year, but it doesn't give a lot of projection and volume. Where I like the expression gel that you just used, the 20 mix per cc um, along the lip, and that I say gives you more projection, but maybe only lasts about eight to nine months. What do you worry about when you inject the lip? I'm worried about getting into the inferior or superior labial arteries. Okay, and um, if you're using the needle, how do you avoid that? 
you know, you can try to aspirate, especially where the superior labial artery becomes more superficial, which is usually along the midline of the lip. Um, in that case, sometimes it does come up surfaces above the muscle. 20% of the time it can. Yeah, so you have, to, you have to be mindful of that, but there have not been any cases of blindness when injecting the lip strictly. So that does offer me a little bit of comfort, and so I'm definitely making sure that I know where that tip of my needle is and not letting it dive down below the muscle uh, into the wet border of the lip uh, when I'm doing my vertical Linear so stay trans. superficial if you're injecting with a needle. Yep. And if I'm using a cannula, I feel comfortable going deep. If you're using a 22 gauge cannula, there have been reports of 25 gauge cannulas definitely penetrating into the labial yes, arteries. Yes, I agree with you. 22 gauge to me is much safer. All right. Thank you. Now you know how to thrive in the lips. In three minutes. <laughs>